and welcome back to the channel. We are here with another episode of Squid Game. That was a sad episode. Um, Ganbu, which I now know meant, um, you know, it wasn't a game, it was actually, it, it means good friend or best friends or something to that effect. Um, well, yeah, Ganbu. Um, how do you see fake Ganbu? Sanwu, you know? Yeah, it's, it's a tough episode to move on from. It's one of those episodes that you don't want to re to ever re revisit. But at the same time, it had one of my favorite moments in the entire series, and that was between um, Ji Young and, and Sebyuk. Um, yeah, that was my favorite moment in the entire series so far. Um, episode 4 is still my favorite, but that was my favorite moment. Um, yeah. He, I, I'm, I'm, I feel conflicted about a lot of characters, except the mob guy. I think everyone, can, we can all agree that we all want to see him die a terrible death. And somehow he managed to just barely scrape through. And there are some lessons there, you know, and... It, Again, the, the series as a whole, holding up a mirror to society in where um, the people who often shouldn't succeed are the ones that do get to move forward, while those that should don't. Um, you know, and that's just something that happens in, in real life, unfortunately. Um, and of course, Sanu representing the, the other... <laughs> the other group, um, you know, who take advantage of others, um, you know, um, to, to, to prop themselves up. And I'm a bit confused, you know, I'm a bit conflicted with San Wu because, one, I like the character before because I see, I see him doing these good things, but now you question whether he was doing them for selfless reasons or because he was hoping to gain something later on. Some, in somewhere in the back of my mind, I want to think that um Sanu didn't pair up with um with Gion because he had some suspicion that he may have to kill his partner and and he didn't want to kill Gion. And I'm wondering, you know, and 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 maybe just maybe at the end of this game it's gonna come down to him and Gion and he's going to sacrifice himself to save Gion. Um but he knew Gion couldn't make it all the way without him. I, I don't know. I don't know where I don't know. I'm just pulling shit out of Thin air to try to not see him as a piece of garbage, but the last episode was just, yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I'm a bit conflicted with him because I, I, th I don't think his mother raised a bad person. I think maybe, maybe that's that. Having seen his mom, I don't think she raised a bad person. So I don't want to think that he's a bad person. But he, you know, he lied to, um, to Ali and. <sighs> I'm thinking, okay, maybe he'll take care of Ali's family once he's out. I think he would. But then, yeah. Because he did show regret. It was a shitty thing to do, but he showed regret. You know? Um, and a bad person wouldn't do that. So it's... it's. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, then we had a moment with um, Ilman. You know, the old man. We finally know his name. I'm... It was a tragic moment, but it was still underscored by my suspicions of him because I still think there's something we're not seeing. Um, there's still a lot of unexplained things. And as I go through and edit each of these episodes I, and see them again, I, it's, it's more difficult to, to ignore. But what I'm starting to suspect is whether he had some connection to, um, to Gyun before. We've never seen Gyun's father, and all this talk about um, I used to live in this neighborhood or a neighborhood just like this, and Gyun said, "So did I." Um, and his attachment to Gyun and his showing up in the same um, location where Gyun lived all his life randomly, saying that he stopped by to see an old friend. Um, I do wonder whether that was Gyun's mom and if he's maybe Gyun's father or something. This would be a pretty twisted way to reveal you're someone's dad. <laughs> but I don't remember if they mentioned if Gyun's father passed away or something, but 
that's I, I just have a sneaking suspicion that there's a connection between the two. Maybe he's getting his father or something. Maybe he was. Maybe he played this game a long time ago. We now know the game goes back quite a bit. Um, maybe he w- played the game and maybe he won. But give, similar to the the police cops and uh, the police's brother or the cops' brother, once he won, he was never allowed to return home. Um, so that is my suspicion that maybe there's some connection between the old man and um, and Gion. Yeah, but there's definitely something there. So either he's a repeat contestant or he's a mastermind behind all of these games, and I think has some connection to Gion um, because there's definitely some motivation there why he intentionally decided to 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 save to sacrifice himself to save him at this point in time. Um, there's been some, I'm sure Gian has shown him a lot of kindness throughout, but I don't know if that's reason enough to say, okay, yeah, I'm going to let you pan, go on while I die. But there's definitely something suspicious with the old man. So while it was a tragic moment, I don't think he's dead. He's the only character that they've shown off screen who we know uh, who hasn't died. Um, so it, I, I don't think he's dead. I think we'll be seeing him again. I also think we'll be seeing that, that woman again, the annoying woman who um didn't have a partner so more than likely she was spared um unfortunately um, but i do want to see her kill um, the mob guys so hopefully hopefully um she'll catch up to him in in the um in the next game uh yeah but i, I keep going back to the moment between ji young and um and um Sabiot, though it's a very beautiful moment um just to uh, one character who you've you knew very little about, and that was that was what impressed me the most. And the actress did a fantastic job there. Um, it's just the character that you've only met one episode ago. You know, um, she came off as distant and um, aloof, but who knew she was the one person in the game that actually has a conscience? You know, um, the one good person in the game, and and just the moment between her and Sibuk and. Um, where she dropped the marbles and Sebuk is adamant that she needs to throw again because this is, you know this isn't fair. She doesn't want to, you know, to win this way. Uh, it was just a really, really touching moment, and I absolutely love it. I've gone back and watched it several times, and I'll probably go back to it a few times again um, throughout the course of this um, this season. So, well done, well done. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm dreading going into the next episode to see what happens to the other characters, but gotta push through. You've gotta push through. All right, guys, um, let's check it out. You're gonna see that chick still there. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Got to sleep through it all. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I, you, you deserve each other. The, the both of you deserve each other. She shouldn't be gloating so much. Remember, there are still other games, and if no one picks you again because you keep running your mouth off. From Miss speaking. So there are people watching. I'm waiting for him to grab him, but uh oh. Something's out of place. Something's out of place. Or did he just figure it out? <sighs> Put the receiver down the wrong way. Such a small detail. I didn't even notice. I hope he's long gone by now. He hasn't been eating because, I mean, how long has it been? He's just going to get weaker and weaker. He needs to just get the hell out of there. Ah, it's still here. Why? Oh. 
the guy that he, the number 29 that he killed earlier uh, come on save you eat up you gotta keep your strength up just made a friend and 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 lost her Yeah, it doesn't even so. And what's your excuse for Ali? What's your excuse for killing Ali? Ah, the husband survives. Okay. That makes sense. They probably just agreed to let him go on because no one wants to choose women because some of the games require strength, but <sighs> Interesting. I wonder if it is his brother. Is it possible to still call for another vote? But at this point, no one is going to want to leave because we've come so far. <laughs> Some of us don't care. No, but the money would go to his wife. If you leave, the others get the money. If you do the selfless thing, <laughs> if they leave and come back, they'd have to start over again. Well, I don't think there's a second chance anyway. If you leave now, I don't think there's any coming back. But it just requires a selfless act. Ah, this is when we saw in the, the photo or painting. The host, unfortunately, some urgent business okay. has prevented him from attending. Seriously? Find it hard to believe the host would miss a night like tonight. Me so the host is maybe the, the cop's brother, perhaps. So something does happen to the winners after this game. So we have some Americans in the mix. So this may just be some wealthy assholes from all over the world who come here to just watch. Well, that's why we came all this way. Trust me, the screens we have at home are plenty big, but... Hmm, so they have been watching. Hmm. How many games has it been, though? If they're here, I'm assuming this is the final game. But they, I think they said six games at the very beginning, right? Has it been six? Oh. He's just asking to be caught and killed with all the evidence that he's gathered. Oh, hung himself. I hope they didn't have kids. I mean, what would be the point of that if your wife is already dead and then and killing herself now? I hope they didn't have kids or anything. Because now they get nothing, assuming that there is a winner. Okay, so this is the fifth game. I'm guessing you shouldn't talk to the guests. That's his problem. Very well. Let me introduce the next game. Is this a, a team game or are they competing against each other?
Alright, dicker West. Same reason you voted on 6 to 9. I'll try 96. Well, there's no way to, to what's the point of fighting there's you can only take one and there's no way to know what the right one might be i don't think so <laughs> you don't want to go first you definitely don't want to go first. Everyone's going for the last one while he's while he's sitting there. And I don't think I don't. He's not gonna make it. I don't think you want to go last either. You should have got decide. He's gonna be left with the one, isn't he? Oh. I have no idea who this one is. Self-sacrifice for, 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 for the good of everyone else? Maybe? Let him go. You don't, uh, I don't think going last is great. But I don't think going first is great either. So... And we saw a bridge. Is it a case where the bridge is going to be collapsing? Or there are some obstacles in their way? I don't, I don't know. They need to get to the other side, but what's the catch? Uh oh. <laughs> I guess going first was. Yep. Not a great idea to go first. You'll have to memorize what stones he steps on and didn't step on, though. I don't think 16 is in a great position either. So you're, you're both kind of screwed. He just has plot armor. This guy is asking to be killed. I don't want him to die, but he's doing a shite job I don't have to keep calling keeping suspicion back. off Sit him. Down. Is this... Is this some pervert or something? Nah. Whoever's last is worse because he'll also have the least amount of time to get across. That's just cruel. Ah, oh, they do. Yep. There's no way to figure this out. Unless you can tell from the glass. I don't see any way to figure this out. Unless, outside of just looking at what the other person has already safely stepped on. Maybe Gyun got lucky with this one. Is there maybe there's a pattern or a specific order in which the the solid glass is actually placed? That's a tough one. There's no logic behind this, I fear. It's just luck. I 
I wonder what would happen if you just kept running. Yeah. Oh. It's not. But you still cover more ground for the others behind you, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, you've got to remember. <laughs> you just gotta decide yourself. I don't think anyone's keeping count, although they should. <laughs> yes. Liars! I don't remember. Can you hang on to the side? You know, if the glass falls through. I mean, the, your mask off. Isn't that against the rules? I want to see your. It's against the rules. And the glass is the glass. They are attached to some things. I don't know. I, I would grab onto the edge and and crawl across if I can. See. Now's not the time. What are you doing? <laughs> so they all turn into one in front of them. They're both going to fall off. What are you doing? Now will you move? Wasn't God you threw someone into it? And they did the same. Why would you do that? He's just gonna do the same to you. Are you stupid? <laughs> and then he asks not to be pushed. If he pushes you, he'll have to figure out the next one. And 16 was not the bad choice. Though he lucked out on that one because if the guy didn't ask, to take it, he would have been first. Wait, what? Oh, wait, why wasn't he paying attention? Focus, focus. I don't think she lied to him. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Nope. Well, close. <laughs> Let's see what you know, okay? He got you this far. I don't know about you, but I, I would climb the rest of the way. And just climb the rest of the way with your arms along the sides. I know somehow this guy's gonna figure it, gonna figure this out. He just won't die. He's gonna. What are you gonna do? Bully someone to go ahead of you? Just push you off. Really? All mine. But after you leave, they will kill me. I don't think he cares. Ew, old man. Ew. Well, we can be alone. Yeah, so I can kill the shit out of you. Go back to the game. Um, but smart play by the mobster guy. You know, they are they're all there and they're all running out of time, so they can either argue with him or go ahead. He just push his ass off. Or we'll all die. Yeah, you'll die too. 
I'm fine with that. I'm good with that. Eventually, when the time ticks down, he'll have to move. He's a coward. Please kick his ass. Please kick his ass. In five minutes. I'll treat you. Kick his ass. Come on. Right. Just right. Right. Thank you. Satisfy that. Yeah. Satisfy me in five minutes. Thank you. I might let you leave. Thank you. I, I, I just fear that he's gonna die at the end of this. What the hell? Was it the, the annoying girl? Uh, I want them both to die anyway, so let's just hope they, they push each other off the edge. <laughs> He's afraid of her because she's a crazy bitch. <laughs> What's her game? And does he trust her to even come without pushing him off? <laughs> yes. This is what I want. <laughs> We're together in this. Remember what he said to her before? You're so clingy. I'm clingy now. <laughs> Who's clingy now? Start begging now. <laughs> oh, now you're begging. He's a coward. From the very first game, you could see it. He just likes to bully other people. Just take him with you. Take him with you. Oh. Oh. It just sucks that it took three people dead to only get one space ahead, you know? Oh, maybe this one's actually telling the truth. Oh, we have a glass maker, guys. You could have done it from the start, that is true. But it did manage to weed out Can some really shitty people. I think so. Gas manufacturing. According to his file, he once had a job at a glass manufacturer. What are the odds? He is examining the refraction of the light. Let me adjust the settings. Oh, God. What about this is equal? Are you serious? Come on. What about this is equal and fair? Just crawl the rest of the way, guys. Just crawl along the edge. It's just one more. Come on. It's one more. I just crawl along the edge. I don't know why they're not, why no one's doing that. Is sound. 
There must be a button or something. Oh, there's a marble. Ah, nice. Don't miss. Damn it. Do you not have a button or anything on, on, on these things? Figured it out. Now or never, guys. Don't push the man. Sang you piece of shit. <laughs> Alright. Take back what I said. Can't trust him. Watch out. The hell? What if you kill someone? What would be the point? Okay, everyone's getting a nice little gash on the side of their cheek. They couldn't have just waited for them to walk away uh oh did someone get injured still a long way to get back home though final nail in the coffin for Sangwoo these irredeemable at this point still worried about the cop though because it's a long way to, to the shore and I think there was supposed to be a boat that would have come to meet the smugglers, so they'll be able to spot him eventually. All right, the VIP. Um, another good episode. Um, you know, it came down to a bunch of creepy old men watching people to die, watching people die for entertainment. That's the least surprising thing that this series has done so far. Kind of saw that one coming. Um, fortunately, one of them got always coming to him. I'm just, it's just, I'm just sad that he didn't die. You know, the cop didn't, you know, didn't kill him. Um, but it would have been so satisfying if he did. Um, yeah, this is a new game that we were playing. Um, the most satisfying thing about the episode was most certainly the mobster and um, the other woman, the crazy woman, dying together. That was poetic. I've been waiting for him to go all this time. Ah, and they did not disappoint with that one. You know, um... Now that I think about it, though, uh, you know, doing the reaction for the actual game itself and crossing the bridge uh, made of glass, uh, the, the glass maker, he could have come forward and, and told everyone initially what was happening. But the game is not fair. You know, the, the front man keeps talking about equality and, and fairness, but there's nothing fair about this when you're taking away, um, you're, you're intentionally sabotaging the players. That is not fair. Um, so the, all that, not, the, all that, he was spout, spouting before about equality. It's just, it's just a facade. Um, but even if the glassmaker had said something before, they'd have just turned out the lights at the very beginning, and then they'd have had a much more difficult time actually getting to the end. So um, while I was thinking, okay, he should have told, like Yoon said, he should have told him at the very beginning. It would have saved maybe, you know, 
it wouldn't have mattered. It would have actually made things worse because this is not fair. And they need to understand that, you know, the who were the people putting the game on is purely for entertainment. So there's no, they don't expect anything to be fair. That's the one thing I will say that the mob the mob guy got right, you know. He said we're in hell. Um there's nothing you know, there's nothing fair about this. So um they need to take that and and, and run with it because he's right. Um the games aren't fair. There's nothing equal about it. Um, but yeah, nothing would have changed. They would have shut off the lights earlier on and more people would have died. Um, the number of choice, Gion got so lucky. It took too long to make a choice. I, I'm not sure about the whole people always choosing the middle numbers because of the um, you know comfort in the herd thing. But um, I definitely wouldn't have picked the first number and I definitely wouldn't have picked the last one. But that's only by virtue of the kind of games that we've actually been playing. Depending on what you know, what the situation is, you might go first or last, or or and not go in the middle. Um, yeah. So in this instance, Gion was actually in a good position out of sheer luck because he took too long to actually choose. Um, but you know, the the husband who I was wondering about in the last episode, we got to see what have or we understood what happened to him now. Um, the wife, I, I suspect, decided to let him go forward. And again, I guess it made sense because no one was picking women because they thought they were weak. But him killing himself now means no one gets anything. You know, um, I can only hope that they don't have kids or anything that, and, and in which case, why were you both here? You know, and why you risk both dying for a thing like this? Um, but yeah. They're, they're both gone. They're both gone. But the, the mob get going out the way he did was the most satisfying. He was the most cowardly character in the whole series. And pleading for his life at the end. And the crazy lady, I knew she would be back. I knew she'd be back. And we didn't see her die, much like the old man. If you don't see them die, they didn't die. The old man is still alive. And most likely, I mean, he's not the host, I don't think. The host looks to be fair, a fair bit younger. And I do want to know whether the host is actually the cop's brother because the front man did say something about this is a personal matter for him. Um, so the host, it could very well be that once you've won, then you have to, I don't know, participate in the game as an employee or something before you can actually leave. Um, or maybe you can't leave and you're in their servitude for life. Um, so there's a big question mark there. Um, yeah but i don't think the old man is dead i think he's somewhere but um yeah the it was a satisfying death it was a satisfying death i'm glad i was fully expecting her to do it and i'm glad she did it the way she did it here just clinging to him because he you know he called her clingy before you know it was just very poetic i loved it loved it um all three have made it to the end sang Woo at the very end you know, at the very beginning of this this discussion um, of the reaction, I was I was still holding on to some hope that there was some redemption for Sangu and that he was maybe doing this for uh, good reasons somehow. But ah, uh, they're really pushing that. You know, he may just be a he, when he when he when he screwed over Ali, he showed some regrets. Here, he showed none. You know, he just said, I'll I'll choose for you and push the guy on the glass. So, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. So he's officially irredeemable at this point, I think. I don't think there's no reason that he could possibly have to, to, to explain away all the choices that he's been making. So, yeah, so he's off the list. He's off the list, officially, you know, I mean... Yeah, it's definitely off the list. Now we're down to three. It's Sangu, um, Sebiuk, and Gion. Um, I don't want Sebiuk to die. I don't want Gion to die. I still think he's a shit son and a shit father, but I don't want him to die. Um, Sangu is pretty much a terrible person at this point, so I don't care. But somehow I get the impression that Sebiuk is going to be the one to die next. Reason being because um you know these two have been childhood friends and I think they're on the opposite side of the spectrum, um and so it's gonna be 
again, you know, it's going to be the, the two facing off against each other and sort of two ideologies, <laughs> you know, um, social status, one against the other at the end of the game, I think is, is how it's going to go. Um, Sang Woo being the one who they, who's in from a more elite family who went on to college and be successful. And um, and Gyun, of course, just being kind of the average everyday worker, you know. Um, and and so again, the show does a brilliant job just holding a mirror up to society, and um, you know, but who will come out on top? Usually, <laughs> it's the it's the elite assholes. So um, it'll be interesting to see how they pull that off. So it's definitely going to come down to Sangwoo and um, and Gyun. Um, I, I can't, I'm not ready for Sebuk to die, but I think that's what's going to happen next. Uh, that might be what breaks me. Uh, I do not want to see Sebuk die. I don't want to see her die. But I fear that's what's going to happen next. It's just that, that that's the natural progression for the story. It's going to be Gion versus Sangwoo. I'm not ready for it. Um, the cop made some more progress here. Um, he got some more evidence. He's off. I don't know if they, they'll catch him. I pray they don't because all of this hard work that he's been putting in, I hope something comes out of it. Um, he didn't find his brother, but he was able to get enough evidence, I, I, I think. I, I need to know what phone he's using because that battery has lasted a very long time. He's been there for, for days and, you know, his phone is still fully charged. Um, but you know, he, he took the diving gear and he's out, but they're now on a boat searching for him. Um, I'm not sure how, how close they are to the mainland. I don't think they're, I don't think they're far based on how quickly they left the docks and got to the island, but, um, I don't think they're that close either. And depending on how good of a swimmer you are and a diver, you know, um, which most people aren't, you know, so, um, I, I hope he does make it back. Um, with the evidence, but I would not be surprised if there are some higher authorities in the, on the police force that are aware of this game and have chosen to ignore it. It's been years and nothing has, this has never come up before. That's impossible. Uh, well, not impossible, but you know, um, it's suspicious at the very least. Um, but yeah, um, the most impressive thing about this was the game, even though it's titled the VIP. I didn't care much about the VIP. We don't know much about them, as I said before, outside of them just being some rich old men. Um, some of them appear to be American just um, based on the accent, um, but others may just be from different regions of the world. At least one of them, I, I suspect, is from Korea as well, um, given his accent. Even when he was speaking English, um, you could still hear it. Um, so um, just some rich men who came, they've been watching the games remotely and decided to come there to see it personally. Um, yeah, hopefully they get they all get what they deserve. I don't know if that's the, 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 that's going to be the takeaway from from this series. Um, I get the impression it's not going to end on a happy note for everyone. So I'm curious to see how the writer will um, will execute and then land this, this 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 ending to what is such a tragic story. Oh man. All right, guys, um, be sure to post down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this episode. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.